Christmas time is the most depressing and alcoholic time of the year. Because so many of us are broken. Actually, all of us are broken. It's part of the human existence. We just have so much stuff that we struggle with. And we all have broken hearts in a million different ways. And so we seek hope. You know, we want to find a refuge, want to find healing. And where does this come from? Well, for some people, they place their hope in Santa. Let me deal with this one quickly. I'm not a Santa fan. I mean, think about it. He comes only one time a year. And then when he does, he's totally materialistic. All he's good for is to bring you a gift. And so I guess our hope would be maybe a more expensive gift. All right, get rid of him. There are those that also place the hope within themselves. You know, they don't think there's anything else out there, so they're trusting themselves for everything. Yet, every person doing this still has the same broken hearts and brokenness that the rest of us experience. And even worse, at some point, you're going to breathe your last, and you're going to be dirt surfing. If that's hope, geez, I'll just pray for you. Then there are those who believe in science. And I understand this. Science is a great thing. It gives us great innovations. But science is limited. You know, I've got a friend who's an atheist, and he says he trusts science that will come up with things so he can live to be 200, maybe even 1,000 years old. But as I say to him all the time, listen, in all the brokenness that you have, that I have, that we all have, who wants to endure that for 1,000 years? There's no hope in science. And by the way, most famous scientist of all, Albert Einstein. Let me quote him. He said, science can only ascertain what is, but not what should be. In other words, you can't really place your hope and your faith in science. Then there are those, I call them socialists today, that trust and place their hope and their faith in government to solve all the ills of society. And, you know, I always scratch my head on this because government only does two things. It takes your money through taxes and it controls your life through regulations and laws. And we need that. I'm not saying that's terrible. But do you really believe that's where we're going to place our hope? Yet many people do. So climate change is destroying the earth. Well, government, through the right prescription of taxes and regulations, can save the planet. Government can give us all quality health care. Government can lead us to happiness. Well, I have one commentary for that. <laughs> no, we can't. Listen, this is Christmas. We Christians celebrate the birth of the baby Jesus. You know, back in the Old Testament, Isaiah 7, 14, it prophesies he'd be born of a virgin and would call his name Emmanuel, which means God with us. He was and is God. Then through his death, his resurrection, now we have true hope. And you know what? The New Testament says we can have a new heart right now. We can be a new creation right now. And ultimately, we can have eternal life through that physical, literal resurrection that he proved with his own life. You know, my one Christmas wish for you is that you could find hope in Jesus. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year.